Hey everyone, so today I have 99% of this stuff is Mac that I'm going to show you. Um, actually there's only one thing that's not Mac and that is the shirt that I have on. I had been looking for a long sleeve peach shirt for oh my gosh, uh, months and months now and for some reason I couldn't find one and I guess that's because peach is pretty much a spring color so it was very hard to find one long sleeve but at the same time I had peach makeup and nail polish that I wanted to wear and you know me I like to do the whole matchy matchy thing <laughs> so um, anyways I finally found one at Old Navy and this shirt was originally fourteen fifty and then it was marked down to seven fifty and then they had this um, thing this weekend everything in the store was thirty percent off so I got it for five dollars so five dollars and I finally got my peach long sleeve shirt so I'm all set now I can do the the peach makeup nail polish thing anytime I feel like it um, so speaking of that I might as well get that out of the way and tell you what I'm wearing I'm wearing um, Guerlain Meteorites light diffusing foundation primer Maybelline fit foundation in number 115 and also the Maybelline Fit Concealer in number 15. Um, for blush today, I have on the blush that's in the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder Compact. And it's a really pretty peachy blush. And then I have on um, MAC Painterly Paint Pot as an eyeshadow base. I have on Just Eyeshadow, which is this one right here in the corner. And I have Revlon Luxurious Color Matte Coal Eyeliner in Rich Mink um, on my waterline and then smudged under the lower lash line about three quarters of the way across. Maybelline The Falsies Mascara. MAC Naked Liner, Lip Liner, MAC Creme de Nude Lipstick, and MAC Cream Sheen Glass in Boy Bait. Uh, this was one of my first MAC lip glosses and um, I haven't worn it in a really long time because uh, I don't know, I, I don't wear that much, many nude lipsticks. It, kind of washes me out a little bit. I mean I like it but it's just a different kind of look because I usually always go for those bright colors. Okay so that's, oh and uh, nail polish is OPI Coney Island Cotton Candy and um, this is it right here and it's just a really pretty uh, peach, light peach color. Okay so that's what I'm wearing and Here's what I got for Mac. Um, I had some back to Mac stuff, so I got a free lipstick and I decided to get gel. Uh, gel is a frost and it looks like this. And what it is, is it's a light frosty gold. Um, it was part of the Champagne collection, but it's also permanent. So if this is something that interests you, you can get this anytime and that's not going to show up at all on my hand. Yeah, you probably can't even see that. Um, it looks really pretty on though, and if I had thought of it, I would have worn it for this video today, but um, I don't know, I just didn't think of it. So that's what I got for my Back to Mac stuff. And then um, we went to the casinos in Connecticut this weekend, and about a half hour southwest of the casinos is a uh, CCO. And um, if you live in Connecticut, and I know at least one of you do, Holly, <laughs> um, you're really lucky because that is an awesome CCO. My CCO that I go to where I live 
has like half the amount of stuff to pick from. When I walked in there and went over to the MAC eyeshadows, I almost had a heart attack because <laughs> there were so many to pick from. I was like, oh no, what am I going to do? There's so many. <laughs> um, so after I calmed down a little bit, <laughs> I picked out some things and I'll show you what I got. Okay, first of all, you know how much I love paint pots. Well, I especially like the colored paint pots. Um, so those are the ones that I really always go for. And this used to be a permanent one at one time, and Mac and their infinite wisdom decided to discontinue it. So um, when it was permanent, I never bought it because that's when I was just starting to get into Mac. And I figured it was permanent so I could get it at any time I wanted. No. You see, you never know with these things. So you can't just take it for granted that something's always going to be there. Um, so anyways, this is Delft, D-E-L-F-T, Delft Paint Pot. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous, like, teal color. And, let me see. So there it is, swatched, and oh my god, I was so thrilled when I saw this because I never, I didn't think that I was ever going to get to get it. I'm trying to get a, a makeup wipe here. So that was, that was a big find. And then I picked out six eyeshadows. And, oh my God, there were so many of them that, you know, that was like the least that I could narrow it down to. <laughs> I really shouldn't have bought that many, but my God, they had so many great colors there. So, as you know, I'm trying to build up my um, MAC Permanent Color eyeshadows. So they did have one that I was able to get, and this would be the cheapest way to buy it, would be at a CCO, because they're um, $10.25 for MAC eyeshadows at CCOs. So this um, is Shimmer Moss and it came out it was uh, promoted in the in the Groove collection so that's why it's in the seashell packaging but that doesn't really matter because I'm going to end up depotting it and putting it in my palettes anyway. But um, when you go to the CCO what they do is they have like um, a sample sitting there so that you can see the color because they don't want people opening up all the little boxes and then they line the little boxes up behind the sample so if you look at the sample and you decide you want it you just grab one of the boxes and then you know bring your purchases up to the counter so I didn't I didn't open this I didn't open any of them because um, you know usually they're completely untouched usually I got home and you know, I don't live anywhere near hours and hours away, um, so I couldn't return it or anything. But I got it home and I opened it up, and it looks like someone stuck their fingernail or something in there. So I was kind of mad about that, but I guess it's not that bad, and I can fix it. Um, all you have to do is put some alcohol in there, and then you can, like, smooth it out. It's, it's pretty easy to fix, but it just bugged me that, you know, someone had obviously touched it because there's really no reason to open those little boxes. Um, so anyway, yeah, this is Shimmer Moss, and um, Shimmer Moss is a Veluxe Pearl, and it's green with green pearl. That's what it looks like, and this is going to look awesome over that Delft paint pot that I just showed you. That's going to be a fantastic pairing. Um, okay, and what else I got? <laughs> I really like that whole teal color thing because the next one I'm going to show you is called Newly Minted. And this uh, came out with the Matte Square Collection. And it's one of the discontinued matte square colors. This is a rich sea green. And um, a lot of the matte square colors 
have been discontinued and the rumor is, and I don't have any proof of this, but the rumor is that MAC is going to be discontinuing all their matte squared colors. So if there's one that you've been thinking about getting, don't wait because I don't think pretty soon that any of them are going to be available. And I don't have hardly any of those, so I'm going to have to try to work on uh, getting some of the ones in the permanent line because there's no guarantee that they'll show up at a CCO later on. So i got to work on trying to get those probably first before I pick out any more stuff from the permanent line. And then tra continuing along with our green theme here, this is Warm Chill. This is a frost. Uh, this came out with the Cool Heat Collection, and this is a frosty seafoam green with gold pearlized pigments. And that's what it looks like swatched. So I basically just showed you, what, four shades of green <laughs> between the paint pot and the eyeshadows. I guess we know what my favorite color is. Oh no. You know, it's bad enough that I got interrupted, but that was a telemarketer. Urgh. <laughs> um, okay, so, what was I saying? Um, alright, I don't remember what I was saying, so I'll just continue along and show you what I got. Um, the next thing that I got, it, I've seen a lot of people use this in tutorials, but it's one of those discontinued matte square colors, so I was like, oh great, you know, I'll never be able to get that. Well, they had it. This is called Graphology, and um, so this is a dark black gray with a hint of purple. Whoa. <laughs> uh, do you think that's pigmented at all? My gosh. Wow. That'll darken up and smoke out anything, huh? And this next one is Flourishing. And this is also from the Matte Square Collection. And this is a rich moss green. Looks like that. And that's what it looks like swatched. I like the finish on these. It's a shame that they're discontinuing them because... Uh, they seem to be very soft, and um, I think I might have like one matte square shadow right now, and from what I recall, it, it blends really well. And then the last thing is called Apres Ski, and this is just a regular matte finish. It looks like that, and this is from the Chill Collection, and this is a dark brownish gray. Big difference between the regular matte eyeshadows and the matte square. I noticed right away when I swatched this, this was not nearly as pigmented as those others were. So it's kind of too bad then that they're discontinuing them all because the one that's left behind, the regular matte finish, doesn't seem to be as good a quality. But um, I do like that color though. So that's what I got and... Uh, um, if you have any comments, questions, whatever, let me know, and um, I guess that's it. Bye-bye.